how to create a sliced design such as this in Affinity Photo. Well, what can you also do with this sliced design? Well, it's a great source for patterns, but at the moment, it's a shape. To actually create it as a pattern, you would need to right click and go down here and rasterize. Once it's rasterized, you can then use it as a pattern source. So layer, new pattern layer from selection, and there it is very quick pattern design, which you can then duplicate and modify in many different ways. But how to create that sliced effect? And this sliced effect can be created for any kind of design. Well, let's go right to the beginning. Key thing is to actually use something like this. Use the diamond tool. Of course, you could use rectangle tool. All these sort of designs could be used in the same way. Diamond tool, Christ diamond. Very basic one. You can see just if I drag that down, just click the document and drag. Now, don't release. You've got the mouse. Help make certain the mouse is not releasing at this point. Then go to the arrow keys and press the right arrow key. And just repeat that multiple times. You can see as you do that, it will duplicate that design. Now you can also, if you want, just simply use the move tool and the move duplicate feature. That's another great feature of Affinity Photo. And you can create more sort of unusual ones with rotations, etc. But if I release that now, and you can see you get that, and I could have created 50 or 100. Didn't have to be just 10 or 20. Obviously, you could just keep clicking and generate more and more of these. Now they're all together. You could have spaced it as well using the hold down the right arrow key and that would actually duplicate it and also increase it as well. It's a combination kind of tool. But I'm gonna go with this. This is what I want at this point. Well, I can now turn them all into a single shape, but at this point you might think, you know what, well, that's a pretty cool design anyway. And I can, got this fill at the moment, it's obviously a green gradient. You can simply go up here and with this diamond tool selected there, just click on here and go to swatches maybe and click there. And you can see as you run through all these, you can create some really quite interesting designs very quickly, like that, very intense designs, simply by just changing the swatch and go all the way through it. Obviously the gradients you've got, they'll be different. Please check out my videos on how to create gradients. You can create millions of gradient designs and fill it of course with other things as well. You don't have to fill it of course with gradients, but however, you will notice what happens. As soon as you use the gradient tool, all the individual gradients are gone. Now, if I undo again, you can see they are all individual. That Each one has got a separate gradient. Unfortunately, for some weird reason, the way it's done, as soon as you apply with the gradient tool, drag it across, they don't all change, but it becomes a single gradient. If you want to have that, and still manipulate it in many different ways. A great way around that is to use effects because then they will be all individual. So you can always just click on effects with them all selected like that. Just click there and you can go for here and like color overlay or gradient overlay. You can see then the gradients are all for those. And you can, that's the outer shadow. You can change that. But also go to the gradient overlay. You always remember need to actually highlight it Otherwise, it will be working with a different one. It's always slightly confusing the way it works. And you can then manipulate that and you can see as you change that. Also, elliptical and so on. So that's a great way of doing that. But let's just undo those and close. And again, I want just a single one. But I wanted to show you, you can actually create some interesting designs with them all separate as well. And you can just drag across like that and create something like that. And then you can manipulate this further. Select the move tool and you can then squeeze this to create very intense lines, designs like this. Also, at any point, if you want them all to be into a single shape, make sure they're all selected here. You can see all selected. Right click and you've got options here for geometry. And you can go down here, merge curves. Just merge curves, all merged into a single shape curve and you can manipulate that as well do exactly the same but also you can go here to effects you can modify that add effects so click effects 
game. Is that the same for 3D? You can see quite lovely 3D effects. Change profile. Create a different set of designs with different radiuses, as well as outlines, bevels, and embosses. So there's great opportunities there. And I'm just going to deselect that and close. And if you want to create a sort of intense cutting diamond design, like was shown right at the start, how to do that? Well, simply go over here again to the diamond zone. And this again could be any of the other shapes. So diamond and select that. And you can see then I can then select both of those. So both selected. They're both vectors. They need to be vectors. If you've converted it into a pixel layer, which is fine. But if you've done that, you will not be able to do this in the same way. So with this one, you can then go to layer and you can go down here to geometry. And you could use maybe add if you want to add them together. That's the option for that. Creates an interesting design. Undo. Again, layer. Just go down there. Again, geometry. And subtract is another one if you want to cut, sort of cut through design. But intersect. Go with intersect. And there you have it. Very quick, sliced, unusual design from that diamond shape. Now, just let's undo that. You can actually, before doing any additional work, this diamond, you can manipulate. You notice it's still there, a diamond. You can change that. Unfortunately, because you've gone this one, as soon as you've gone with curves, turned it into a curve, converted it, or whatever, or combined it, it's lost the option for using the various settings. There's not many with diamond anyway. But if you go to diamond, you'll notice you've got a couple of options, midpoint and mirror. But many of the other tools, got a lot more. So you might want to manipulate it further before doing anything else, before converting it. Right, let's just go and let's go with here with curves. You can rotate it. So let's just rotate that. So just move that around so I can actually get there. So something like that, just position that way. Again, select both. Both need to be selected. Then go down to layer. And again, down here to geometry. And again, intersect. And then you've got a diamond design like that cut through and as before you can always go for effects so just click here effects go for 3d and change radius and again change profiles you can always go with linear standard profile and so on just try them out just run through them also gain out of shadow if you want to just quickly add an out of shadow like that and you've got a design very quickly like that however you can also turn it into a pattern design really good source for a pattern. So let's just undo that. I'm not going to go with that layer effect, so I'm just going to undo that. So it's just back to that design. Well, you can always, of course, turn this into a pixel layer. Just simply go over here to layer. There's other options as well, the way of doing it, but I'm just going to layer and rasterize. That will turn it into a pixel layer. As soon as you've got pixel layer, you can then go up here and go to layer and new pattern layer from selection and use that. And you can see that's got that lovely diamond design, which you can then hold down the ultra option key. That's a key thing to duplicate it or just go to the layer menu and duplicate. And then you can reposition it. Let's just remove that pixel there just so you doesn't confuse it. And you can see you get design very quickly like that. Also, you may decide, you know what, I want slightly different colors than that. Well, you can manipulate that, go over here to layer, and down to new adjustment layer and maybe go here to one of those any of those actually would be quite good but let's just go for curves just a quick change and you can just tweak it now you'll notice what happens because this curve adjustment is added above added above i don't want that what i want to do is then just drag this down so just drag this down go on the whole thing there like that and now you can see the adjustment is just applied to that pattern. So now you've got this colorful design here and you've got obviously a slightly paler version of it. At any point you can always go here, double click, and you can then go here, maybe instead of master, you could go with red, green. You can tweak the colors in all kinds of ways. I always find it slightly more fiddly and it's always a pity you can't just select the line. You have to go down here and go to green and then tweak that to change it that way and close. Or maybe select this and you can still go here and apply some effects, layer effects, simply by just clicking here and then maybe add a 3D effect to that one.
if you want to create some variation as well. And you've got that sort of design. But literally all kinds of cut and slice designs can be created very quickly using this approach. So again, simply go here, select this diamond. I think diamond's a great one. You don't have to go with diamond. You could go with rectangle. You go with ellipse. So ellipse, exactly the same. So simply click and then drag down. Don't release. Don't release the mouse. If you do, you can't do anything further. So you can always use, of course, the move duplicate feature. And then again, right arrow key, and you get obviously a slightly rounded version of that, which you may prefer. And again, once you're happy with all the numbers you've created, then you can stop. And again, do this, you can manipulate that. And unfortunately with the circle, there's not many options. You've just got this, exactly the same as before. You can group them. You can also convert them all into a curve. That's another option. So convert to curve. So all turn into a curve. And also you can right click and you can go down here. You've got geometry and you can then add them to together or merge curves is another option. So merge curves, you've got that. And then you can manipulate that again, the gradient tool, create all kinds of designs. But with this design, exactly the same as before, go here to the circle, with the circle, you can drag that over there and just obviously go up the top part, the central part is fairly, it's not particularly great. So you just go over there, exact same before, select all of them, go to layer, and then you can go down here and geometry and intersect again. And there you've got that nice slice design, which of course you can then manipulate and use for all kinds of different designs and drag around like that, click effects, add, maybe a gradient overlay or color overlay, etc., or 3D and close. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below.